Hello, how are we all doing today? Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to do something slightly different today. We are going to be constructing polygons. Now this lesson I broke up into two lessons. So the first part, because it's a brand new technology and I'm not there to teach it to you, um, we'll work a little bit on understanding it. And once we know that, you're going to do a little bit of work with it. And then what you'll do is we'll finish the assignment uh, next class. Okay. So we're going to need the math tools. So when you get into big ideas, this section on for me is usually down here in the lower right hand corner for you. If there's one that says math tools, you can go ahead and click on that. If for some reason you don't have it there, you can just click on the three little lines in the upper right hand corner up here. Um, and you should be able to get to math tools. Now, once you get to math tools, you want to make sure that you have middle school selected. Because high school is pretty close. K-5 is totally different. So we want middle school. Generally, it should be interactive tools already selected for you. If you click other ones, it's just going to look slightly different. And you're going to go to Desmos Geometry Tool. Okay. And basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be constructing polygons today, only today, just using their angle measures to be able to create it. So if you notice up here, we have different things. We have a point. Obviously, we can just stick some a couple of points out there. Um, anytime you want, it, it stays on it until you click off onto the select board or something else. You know, if you need to make a circle for some reason, whatever it is that you need. Let's get rid of that point. Um, so one main one we're going to be using today is angle, and the other one we're going to be using is segment. Okay, so to make an angle, we know an angle has, um, you know, it's formed by two line segments, two lines, whatever it happens to be. Reality is we need three points. So you notice once I click the first two points, as I go to click the third point, you notice that around the second point, there's a number that is coming based off of where I'm sticking the third point. So let's say I want to make a 90 degree angle. The simple come to there. And now from here to here to here is a 90 degree angle, but it doesn't really look super easy. So what we need to do is use our segment tool. Um, come up here, click on the first dot, click on the dot you're on. Um, do it again on this dot to that dot. I click on select, and now we have a 90 degree angle. Okay. Say I want to do a 30 degree angle. Okay, again, you can come to the left. Now, where does it ever say you can't go to the left? And again, same thing. Click on the segment, click on the dot to dot. Um, now, let's say I came off of here. You know, drawing a segment just means I can draw it anywhere. I can draw from here to here if I wanted to. That's not going to help me here. So fortunately, it set up pretty well that you just click on from one dot to the other. I can get rid of this one okay, just by clicking on it and deleting it. So that's how you create a angle within this. All right. So let's say we want to create a 30, 60, 90 triangle, which means uh, one of the angles is 90 degrees, one of them is 30 degrees, one of them is 60 degrees. This is a very common triangle that you're going to deal with in geometry and trigonometry and algebra two and algebra one. It's, you're going to use it a lot. Okay. So I first started by making my 90 degree angle. Okay. Um, now I need to make my, I'll make my 60 or my 30. Re actually, this is the shorter side, so I'll do 30. Um, it doesn't really matter unless you, you start to have a little bit of trouble. So now I need to make my next angle. Now, if you remember, the first angle was three points. Okay, so this one's also going to be three points because I'm making the angle here. Here's my first point. Here's my second point. And now I have to come up and create one. So here's what I'm saying. Doesn't, you have to be careful. So I cannot make a 60 degree angle over here. The most I can do right now is a 38. Okay. Oh my gosh, what happens if that happens? You just move it down if you needed a different angle measure. But luckily, I can do a 30. There's a 30. Now, you notice I'm extending it beyond that point because I don't know exactly where it's going to be. Okay. I'm actually pretty close, aren't I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I'm just going to extend this up a little bit. Okay, you notice I kept it at 90. And now here's 60. Now, how can I prove that it's 60? I can just use my angle tool. One, where does it connect? Right there. Two, right there. Three, and now I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let's try another one. Let's do a 45, 45, 90. 
Again, I'm just starting with the 90 because it's the easiest. Oops, I clicked the polygon tool, which is not what I needed. That's what we're going to use next class. All right, let me get rid of that. Come on, there we go. Okay. Uh, there we go, 90. Let me connect them. One, two, one, two. Now I need to get a 45 degree angle off of this. All right, 45, right there. So again, I'm going to connect those two. Okay. Since this is a little short, I'm just going to extend it up, making sure that my angle is still 90 degrees. And now I'll just make the third angle right here. So one, two, three, and you notice it says 45, 45, 90. Well, are all the ones on here going to be actual triangles that you can create? No, not at all. So let's try a 60, 60, 80. Let me do that on a fresh screen. Okay. So I just feel like I'm going to need some room. Okay, there's 80. You notice I'm just giving myself a whole lot of room right here. Um just because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to need. All right. This one needs to be a 60. Okay. Okay, I almost got my 60. All right. So now if I connect these... All right, I have an 80 and I have a 60. Well, let's see. We know that this isn't going to work because 60 plus 60 plus 180 doesn't equal 180. Um, but if I come here, you see it's 40 and not 60. Okay. Let's say, for example, um, oops, let's say I would made one of them a little on the short side. So let me come up here and do my 80 again. There. Ah. So close. Is it a problem? Absolutely not, because I can fix that right now. There you go. Now I got my 80. Okay, so I need a 60. Okay, so that's where 60 will be off of there. Now what I need is a 60 off of here. Almost there. You know what? It's just going to be easier for me to fix it here. Come on. Oops. Helps if you click. And you can see you can't do an 80, 60, 60 and actually have a triangle. Okay. Um, we are also going to do quadrilaterals as well. Um, you know, quadrilaterals is just an extra one. So let's do a 60, 120, 70, and 110. So I'm first going to start with a 60. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. Let me just get rid of those. Pretty clear. Right, there's that's not bad. Okay, so there's my 60. Do it again. Okay, my next angle is going to be 120. That's an obtuse angle, so obviously it's going to be out here somewhere. All right. 20. And again, the length doesn't matter at this point. We can always fix that later on. Uh, 70 is the next one. 70 is going to be here, so. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to extend this line up. Not a big deal. Let's make sure the degree stays at 60. All right, so now we have to see, is this a 110 degree angle? If it is, this is a polygon that we can make. 
and it is 110. Okay, so you're going to go through and do this for different angle measurements with triangles and quadrilaterals. So in the classroom, uh, in Google Classroom, under the Classwork tab, you're going to have 9.4.1, Constructing Polygons on Day 1, and it's going to look like this. Okay, so it's going to explain to you how do you get to the math tool. Okay, and then when you come down here, you're going to have to do eight problems on it. So the first one gives you the angle measures. Um, first four are triangles, the next four are quadrilaterals. Okay, so this is an example of the 60, 120, 70, 110. Um, now I had fixed it. You don't have to fix it. You can just, you can keep it like this. Totally fine, as long as I see the four angles on there. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take a screenshot. You guys remember how to do that. Control, shift, and that little button above this, um, below, uh, is it six? Yeah, above the six. And you're just going to take a quick little screenshot of it, just like you did when you were doing the performance assessment. And then you're just going to paste it in here. And then the question is, is this possible? Obviously, it's either going to be yes. All you have to type in is yes, or you have to type in no. Okay, so that's all you need to do. Um, if you have any questions, I will have uh, chat open for uh, Google Guardian. So just ask something real quick and I'll get right back to you. All right. Good luck.